morning with makeup with me and today I'm going to show you guys how I do my makeup now I've apply my O2 O O T W O O <laughs> you can see that and help a lot and I have a lot of dry skin around my nose especially in the winter time per se because I actually made this particular color because I couldn't find the right concealer for my complexion although I do use my fit me foundation so I actually made this so I kind of just place it I don't put it all over my face but I just place it on all my blemishes and all my imperfections especially my cheek area and my chin area and I and every plate every everywhere that I'm placing this concealer is where my imperfections is and they just don't go away although my skin did it got better um, I've been doing the L'Oreal uh, face scrub and of course I've been using my coconut oil at nighttime far back as possible and you can see that I am starting to get some coverage there I'm starting to get some coverage and I'm I'm dabbing this on I'm I'm not using the beauty blender to just dabbing it soak up a lot of product on the beauty blender than your face but I've noticed put it on like blend it out then you uh it seems for me like I have a little bit of breakout there that's still peeking through and I'll just continue to just dab this in my fit me today this is medium brown it's because now <laughs> and I'm just going to blend everything in now this is actually um, a setting spray that I made and I'll kind of just dab a little bit it's got a little piece of hair now at this point what I do is kind of just let this sit and allow my face to take to it um, before I jump into my banana powder and the highlight. So now I'm going to one of my favorite palettes. Okay so for, um, but I'm sure everybody has this palette. It was really popular when it came out and it's still bomb color all on my lid. If um, I don't know what this color is either and I'm going to just place this on my in the crease of my eye and I'm going to bring it out just a little bit to it and I'm just going to just take my contour brush of my eye and it kind of gives me that pull out kind of like touch matte I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to do my baking and I'm going to use my banana powder this stuff this is the best part of makeup and I received this at Amazon okay and now I'll just bake out and just let that sit and let it take a little bit and then I can start with my liner brush and I kind of just rub it on here because I'm still going to when you this is not gonna go nowhere and when I do okay this palette with this eyeliner I don't really need to I don't need to do this at all so it was, okay so now I'm going to just brush off this banana powder get all this off I don't want my I don't want to leave it I don't like to leave it on too once I fit out and I'm just kind of cleaning all that banana powder, blending it all out or buffing it all out 
Okay, next for my highlight, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild um, highlight, very, very metallic. This is like straight highlight bomb, and it was only a dollar. And I was actually going through um, Amazon, looking at, looking, actually looking for highlight, more highlights. And I seen this one, and I'm like, what? I didn't even know Amazon carry Wet n Wild products. Okay, hey, somebody needs some light. I'll have enough light to show. What is out? Please, very fresh. There's a lot of highlight going on. Um, the only thing different that I did with this video that I did before with this look is that um, I used my other banana powder, which is in a... So this one is the more like a pink, like my lips, but it has a shimmer to it. And this one is um, yellow. So this one gives me more of a better highlight than this one. This one makes me look too pink and it makes me look too dry and ashy like so I don't use this one anymore this one here here the, the original banana powder is my go-to every day every day and when I do my makeup I, I I bake every day so um cozy up the cheeks and this is pretty